Hello, my name is Pierre Harry, and I'm a product specialist with Wonderware California. In this video, I will show how to deploy the CCM program to the PLC and to Viva system platform. The first step requires verifying that the hardware modules are set up properly inside of Control Expert. Control Expert is located inside of the CCM VM, which is shown right here. So I'm going to open up Control Expert, and here's the project file inside of Control Expert. The module types and signal ranges for the analog modules need to be properly configured inside of Control Expert because they cannot be configured from CCM. As you can see, these have already been configured inside of this project file. So unless a new hardware module is added, there should be no hardware configuration required for future deployments. Next, let's go to System Platform. System Platform is located on the GR node VM. I will actually be showing the few following few steps on my own VM, not the GR node VM, due to security reasons. So some of the names and organizational structure might look slightly different than the GR node VM, but the same concepts still apply. So the first step involves opening up the system management console which is this symbol right here, also known as the SMC. Next, we're going to expand the Galaxy Database Manager and locate the COWS Galaxy. Inside the GR node VM, it's labeled COWS Galaxy Official V1. We're going to right click on it and select backup. Make sure that no other applications are currently writing to the GR node and then press yes to acknowledge the dialog box. Next, select the location where you want to save the backup file and select save. It's important to save a backup file before you make any more changes here in case it gets corrupted. Next, open up the system platform IDE, which is shown right here, and make sure that all the objects are checked in. You can view these objects on the bottom left and opening their associated folders. If an object is checked out, it will have a little green check mark to the left of it. To check it in, right click and then select check in. If any object is checked out during the deployment process, it could compromise the system. So please make sure that all the objects are checked in before proceeding from this step. Now, let's go back to the CCM VM and open CCM, which is shown right here. We're going to open the platforms folder inside the navigation tree on the left, the site, and you can see here's the waste reservoir, bridge district, PLC. Right click the PLC select Rebuild, and select With Dependencies. Before deploying an XML file, a Rebuild With Dependency is required in order to implement the changes that were made. After the Rebuild has been complete, right-click on the PLC again, select Deploy, Cascade Deploy. Select OK. Save the file on the desktop. And this will produce an XML file from CCM that can then be loaded into System Platform and the PLC Software Control Expert. Next, we're going to open up the Unity Pro Loader in order to load the XML file onto System Platform and the PLC. First, make sure your Control Expert and CCM instances are closed or Unity Pro won't open. Go ahead and open up the Unity Pro Loader and it will incite you to select your XML file. Go ahead and click on your XML file that you just generated and click Open. At this point, you should see the PLC name, the IP address, and the .su file, which is the hardware config file. If the hardware config file is incorrect, click on the ellipses to the right of it Navigate to it to open it up. At this point, 
If you click OK, it will load the XML file onto the SCADA system and PLC software. After the XML file has been loaded, there are two more steps to accomplish. The first one is to deploy the imported memory inside of CCM. So go ahead and open up the CCM project file, which is inside the CCM VM. Go to Platforms, Site, WRBD PLC, or any of the other PLCs if you're working on them. Right click and select Import Deployed Memory. The final step involves, inside of Control Expert, transferring the project to the PLC. So inside the CCM VM, open up Control Expert, the project file, click on PLC, and then you're going to click Transfer Project to PLC. Now, I'm not going to do it right now because this is live and I haven't connected yet, but this will become available once you connect to the PLC in live mode. So once it's connected, this option will become available and you'll be able to transfer the project to the PLC, which will complete the deployment process.